Now let's be honest, folks. If someone comes to you whom you've gotten to know fairly well, who has worked hard to help you get to where you are, and asks you to do something, or someone else comes to you whom you've never met before and asks you to do something, which one are you most likely to listen to? Okay? It's as simple as that. That's why the only people who serve in elective office are your friend or someone else's friend. And believe me, if we're not taking time to meet our elected officials, to talk with them, to send them emails, to make telephone calls, to write letters, to communicate with them, somebody else is. And that somebody else may have views that are 100% opposed to ours. So the first thing to do is remember what the lead singer for U2, that Irish rock group, I have to report this in, for Liz here, who's a little bit Irish, she tells me. <laughs> the lead singer Bono for U2 was in Pittsburgh last night doing a concert, and he said one of the things he's most famous for saying, we don't agonize, we organize. That's how change happens. That's what we're here to do tonight, to help you better organize rather than agonize so that we can make change happen. That was a good start. I, 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 I didn't try this before, and I'm not all that technologically proficient. Okay, get to know your legislators and their staff. Many people for the first time are hesitant to call the legislator, call the office, go to the office, because it's a little intimidating. For some of you who may have heard some testimony today from Washington, the former FBI director frankly admitted he was a bit intimidated to walk into the president's office and talk with him. Well, every one of us for the first time who walked into a legislative office may have felt a little bit intimidated, especially if you go to the Harrisburg offices, where history has preserved the pomp and circumstance of another era. You should not feel intimidated. First of all, legislators, elected officials want to hear from you. They want to hear your concerns. They want to hear your suggestions. They want to hear your viewpoints because you are the people who elect them. You are the people who employ them. You are their bosses. So there's no need to feel intimidated. There's a mutual respect. And so long as we show that mutual respect, we'll be welcome in the offices. Establish that positive relationship. Establish it with the staff as well. It is the staff who will have the ear of that legislator, that councilman, that mayor, that governor, long after you leave the office. So when you walk in and you meet with a staff person, consider that meeting with the elected official, because that staff person will be there long after you go. They're called weebies. We'd be here before you got there, we'd be here after you leave, okay? Treat them with respect they will help to carry your message. And if you can establish that relationship with them to support our issues, you will have an inside connection, if you will, that has the ear of the elected official. If possible, try to visit your elected officials in their district offices, because in Harrisburg, it is very hectic. From the moment they arrive until the moment they go back to the district, the same is true in Washington. To actually get to see the elected official in Harrisburg or in Washington is extremely difficult. They have committee meetings, they have caucus meetings, they have floor sessions, they have things that come up, suddenly the governor calls and wants to see the group, or the president calls and wants to see somebody, or the other chamber wants to get together with certain people. So getting on the schedule in Harrisburg or in Washington is very difficult. Try to visit in the district office. It's a whole lot easier to get that appointment and you can always catch up with them at other public meetings, such as this tonight. So attend public meetings as well.